Welcome to the new location of the Art Cabinet Nantucket. It is uh, a very special place and I'm grateful to be here at one of the older streets of Nantucket. I want to thank Francis Farrell that he chose me to be here because he thought it has to be something which fits to this old tradition. I'm 18 years in business but this is the first year and uh, it is a um, very special experience to be here because all kinds of designers and special people come and are interested in the art I represent. So I'm a little different because I'm European orientated. It is contemporary art which is my goal to show and modern art, abstract art. I have a new addition here to the artist I uh, represented in the former years which is Joanna Kane. Joanna Kane works on milk paint which is on wood and this is the only material you can work on. It's a very rare technique because it's very time consuming. It is wonderful how she can create an empty space with a detail and connect with art from Billy Sherry. I feel it is very important to create a contrast. Picasso says art is contrast. This uh, sculpture of Billy Sherry, it is lifting even this painting of Joanna. Then we go to Ben Georgia, uh, constructivism, and then we go to Silvio Cortani, who is actually also new. He's a futurist from Italy, and you will find him in all major museums in Italy, but also in the finest gallery, Lee Gallery in Berlin. You find him in Munich, you find him in Rome, in Venice, everywhere. Uh, I adore this, and I'm even now making people curious with this art. It is also here the contrast between the painterly part and the graphic elements and both together are exaggerating their energy and the power of it. And uh, this Billy Sherry goes then to even a subject in the gallery that I have uh, more or less only really abstract art. This is abstracted, it's not really total abstraction but it is abstracted and it's such a beautiful figure of uh, Betsy Potluck who worked with Ectempra, old technique. And then we go over to Eugene Healy, who made this wonderful seascapes here in blue, but he is also very reduced in other paintings, like uh, a big-sized uh, painting over here, where he is creating like an illusion, an atmosphere that you feel the sky, although it's not blue, you feel the sand, you feel the water. And um, here we go again to Betsy Podlak, which goes to this abstract painter Petra Amaral from Munich, Germany, in colors, and they are not hurting each other, although they are two different languages. It's very hard to decorate a space like this when you have 16 artists and they have to be in harmony together, it's sort of like lift each other, not destroy or pull them down. Of course, the star is always Charlotte Culot with her collages, and she paints uh, with, uh, act, uh, with uh, powder pigments, natural powder pigments, which is the secret that the color is blossoming in this way, like you see it. Victor Krauss, a German artist, also on a museum's level, with his still lifes, abstracted flowers, the black stripes or uh, forms are the blossoms, so you need your fantasy, you need to be curious, take away your prejudices and enter a painting because the curiosity, the old Greek said, is one of the finest attitudes of a human being because you become active and this activity is a creativity and the creativity is actually the joy which is the result of entering a painting and feeling it and it's feeling the essence of the painting and feeling also the energy which is only coming when an artist has the courage to express his truth which is my concept almost. I choose an artist and uh, tr try to find out whether he has the courage to express his truth because this comes from his being, from his heart and it reaches you. One thing I want to point out is the new artist Peter Weber and he works 
and folds. He folds paper, he folds material like linen, and he folds acrylic, and now he is working in felt. A major artist of the gallery, it is Professor Wilfredo Chiesa, professor at UMass. And he paints from the technique in the, in the old fashioned, in the basic, in the ancient way. But his subject is modern, he does abstract. And it is a very translucent, alive uh, area. So you think it's just a cross and two lines, but the the space is very fine in layers and uh, details. This is another example I like to show. And you see the construction. It is, you think even of woods or of nature when you see this, although it has straight lines only. There's not one round element. So he is uh, creating a contrast which most paintings have and have to have in having black and white, in having cool and warm. Here another artist, Roswitha Huber, a star student in, from Munich, Academy of Munich, but of course now she is mature and grown up and works in a very special technique. She uses mixed media, but very often in oil, this is oil on canvas, and she adds then watercolor with pigments. So the, the amount of pigments is the reason that you see these tiny little um, dots. So when you have a lot of pigments, you have big dots, and when you have very tiny little one, you have this very fine uh, uh, way of uh, making the heart color, this maybe almost hurting, breaking it and making it softer and more inviting. But also again, she has a contrast of white and black, very colorful, cool and warm, which is always a criteria with most of every artist if they don't choose to be working in graphic. And the last uh, German artist is Peter Amere, new, very uh, liked by designers. It is a big size, it is beautiful color, the blue is the king's color the sky and it goes very well to Nantucket although this is not an issue of course but it is always how she impulsively um, feels to add this color to this color or this color it has empty space although it's differentiated but she creates contrasts in details and empty space and is very colorful in her work oil on canvas, partly mixed media that she adds later some other techniques. Billy Cherry is uh, local and he is a sculptor of such a high talent that when I met him about 10 years ago I was struck. I decided to take him on and to give him a start and then I published a catalog and had the chance to go to the Storm King Art Center. And uh, I feel that everybody who sees his work is uh, excited, uh, feels the energy, and I strongly believe that he will come to a museum's level, which is my goal. I collected art in 30, 40 years. And I was lucky to have a collection of John van Wyck, who is in all major museums, maybe in the United States and also in Europe. He uh, was coming to the United States 22 and inspired the American style, which is the abstract expressionist, American abstract art. So therefore, he's a very important figure. He was in all major museums, and I was hiding a little bit this painting because actually, I don't really want to sell it. I love art, and but I also wanted to share this and show it. So therefore, it hangs there, up a little bit away from the other paintings. I thank you, and I really welcome everybody who wants to have a see modern art, contemporary art, I think I have a nice selection here and I would be happy to have you here and talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.